how often we belittle the role of the guardian angel in our lives. If we pray, we pray to God at once, and we may remember about our angel only willy, nilly before preparing for communion. It is not by chance that we read prayers besides to the Lord, to the mother of God, and to him we do not remember, do not know, or rather do not want to know him as he deserves to be known. But this incorporeal heavenly guardian given to us at baptism takes care of us 24 hours a day. The guardian angel thinks about us even more than our mother, so pray to your guardian angel as often as possible. He has the same care for us and even more. If our mother takes care of us in our infancy and childhood, our angel keeps us from the moment of baptism until the last days of our life, being a caring guide for us, even in the future life, unless, of course, we push him away during our earthly life. Then it is he who will lead our soul to worship God when the time comes for the soul to be separated from the body. That is why he saves our soul with all his might as much as he can and as much as he is given heavenly powers and opportunities to do so and encourages us to think good thoughts, not to retreat, not to retreat, not to make a bad step, a low deed. As soon as it can prompts, strengthens, does not let us fall, get discouraged, sink. But our angel, our heavenly friend and earthly secret companion cannot make a miracle if it does not involve a person. Neither God, much less angels, can override the free will of man. For there to be success in the work of salvation, man must be in collaboration with his angel. If we ourselves are not willing, they are powerless. Without us, they will not marry us. Without us, they will not marry us. Without our help, it is difficult for them to guard our souls. After all, they are given to us by God to guard us from fallen spirits and from sins. When reading evening prayers or morning prayers, they do not do without angelic praise, crying out to them for help. After all, after all, our guardian angel is so important to us. It is that incorporeal heavenly servant of God who helps us to walk along the path of life. And we do not even realize it until the end. Guardian angels are mighty strong. All this is received by them from God. They not only help us effectively, but also pray to the Lord for us. But as Saint Porphyrius Kafsokalovitz said, angels do not pray in order to get something. They are selfless. God has given us this opportunity so that our prayer may be a continuous praise, an angelic prayer. Everything that is good in us is from them. A good deed, a bright thought, every good movement of the heart. Our prayer, repentance, good deeds are also their work. All those pure light things that are born realized in our soul. All thanks to the suggestion of no one else, but by the suggestion of our invisible, eternal, good companion. The guardian angel given to us by God is like our expanded, open conscience. He tries with all his might to save us and we simply do not have the right to hinder him in this. On the contrary, we should help in his efforts to save us. We should ask him as often and as much as possible to enrich our mind with an abundance of bright thoughts, to ask him often to strengthen us, to ask him to give us the skill to wise, pious reflections, to strive to do something good for the glory of God and to guard our feelings from the lowly, sinful. Anthony of Optina, Pudilov, advised. Say, in the hands of your great mercy, O oh my God, I hand over my soul and my many, sick body, my husband, given to me by you and all my beloved children. Guardian angel is like our elder brother, strong and courageous, who will not give us an offense will not give us an offense, will not give us a way to the enemy, will strengthen, encourage, help to find a way out. And in fact, we so often forget about him. We do not pray to him. We offend his sanctity with our sins 
but he again and again shows his care for us. He intercedes for us before the mercy of God. He pleads with God for our needs, and the Heavenly Father will never refuse his requests. But on the other hand, why do we need him if we have God and we can directly address him? Well, firstly, the guardian angel has a special care from God, the command to save and protect people. And secondly, angels are God's creations, just like we are. And to them and to us, the words sound. Be merciful as your father is merciful. They understand this and try imitating their creator and God to show their mercy and patience towards people. Archimandrite Ephraim, Moretus, fight for us to the point of blood. They do not let the demon take the human soul to hell. They fight with him. They try to defeat the tempter, to lift the soul on his wings and soar with it to heaven because the human soul is the breath of God and must be near the Father. That's how they reason. And the angel makes an effort and enlightens us and inspires us what we should avoid and what we should be more attentive to. So we and they have free will. Only for us it can be sinful. But for them, it is only for the glory of God. It is a pleasure for them to help us, to pull us out of trouble, or it is better not to bring us to it. What joy it gives them to save the souls that Christ has redeemed with his blood and who, with their help, will share their glory and their bliss with them. They are love filled and they themselves have a desire to serve us. And in this service, they are even ready to take on pain. The guardian angel is God's special care for his creation. Guardian angel is the providence of God, the manifestation of his house, planning for man. And for this, we are indebted to God. If we were even a little more sensitive, we would notice how carefully our guardian angel helps us to return to the path of salvation through repentance. He not only encourages us to repent, but he promises to remind us of all our sins, all of life's mistakes and missteps. Our guardian angels, God's messengers to us, make the way from God to us and from us to God without hindrance, only if our deeds do not interfere with it. They go from God to us to bring us his grace. They also go from us to God to convey our prayers and thanksgivings to him. How close our guardian angel should be to each of us what trust we should have in him. To him, we can tell the most intimate secrets of our souls during our lifetime. Those secrets that we would not trust the closest people. And this is because in the guardian angel, we see the wisest in advice, the most unselfish in love and help, tender in affection for us, caring for our needs.